Quran, Surah Al-Ahzab, verse 69. After defeating a non-believer community, Prophet Muhammad took one-fifth of the booty. I have the right to take one-fifth of the loots and to choose first which one I want, according to Quran, Surah Al-Anfal, verse 41. Know that whatever of a thing you acquire, a fifth of it is for Allah, for the Messenger. After that, he divided the rest of the loot among the Muslim soldiers. This division of wealth did not always go smoothly, as all parties were entitled to a larger share. An Ansar Muslim man said, I worked hard fighting the Kuffar, risking my life, but this is all I got? Indeed, the distribution of this booty was not done in the way of Allah. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was one of the most loyal companions of Prophet Muhammad. When he heard what the Ansar said, he became angry. Insolent you! Are you actually accusing the Messenger of Allah of taking your share? Oh, you enemy of Allah! I will report what you said to the Messenger of Allah. Ibn Masud then went to Prophet Muhammad and relayed what the Ansar had said. He questioned your loot distribution and accused you of not being fair to him. His face reddened and he said, May Allah have mercy on Moses. He was annoyed with worse than this, yet he remained patient. What was it about Moses that you attribute this to him? Here's the story that happened long time ago, in the time of Prophet Moses. The Israelites liked to bathe together. so that they could see each other's bodies. Unlike most Israelites, Prophet Moses preferred to bathe alone. This led to many unflattering allegations about him. He doesn't want to bathe with us, of course, because his body is deformed. He only keeps himself covered because of some defect in his skin, either leprosy or scrotal hernia or some other defect. Huh? He has hernia in that part of his body. How disgusting! No wonder he always wanted to bathe alone. They had no idea that God was eavesdropping on their gossipy chatter, and that God wanted to reveal the truth. One day Prophet Moses went to take a bath. He put his clothes on a stone. But the stone ran away with his clothes. Oh, stone, give me back my clothes! The stone ran into an area where there were many people. So the people of Israel saw Moses without his clothes. By Allah, there is nothing odd about Moses. Where are the leprosy or hernia? It's so smooth and perfect. Ah, oh, what a beautiful and charming shape. Allah demonstrated to the Jewish people who disparaged Prophet Moses that their accusations were unfounded and that Prophet Moses' private part is perfect. Quran, Surah Al-Azab, verse 69. All believers, do not be like those who slandered Moses, but Allah cleared him of what they said and he was honorable in the sight of Allah. That's it. Just as God defended Moses, he will also defend me from unjust accusations against me. But this isn't the first time Prophet Muhammad has been accused of stealing other spoils of war. This is the event behind the revelation of Qur'an, Surah Ali Imran, verse 161, which happened.